Good Monday morning, lads. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Marissa Trahill, and this is your KWHS News. We hope you had a great weekend. Before we jump into the announcements, let's hear from Miss Betsy for today's lunch menu. Happy Monday, everybody. Glad to see you all back. Today we're having a chicken sandwich, so, you know, come on down and enjoy. But tomorrow, we're having super nachos. I know you love them. Come on down. Please, please, please get them purple papers in because the deadline is this week. Also, pay your charges. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please remember to return your free and reduced lunch forms to Miss Betsy ASAP. The deadline is Wednesday, September 27th. If you need a form, please see Miss Betsy in the cafeteria or your advisory teacher. Also, please remember to add money to your account because you cannot charge your meals. Glads, there is still time to donate your gently used or new clothing and blankets for the hurricane relief. Bring your donations to the collection center in front of the main office and help make a difference. If you have photos you'd like to share with the yearbook staff, message them to their Facebook page. It's Whitefield HS Yearbook. The yearbook staff will do the rest. And buy your yearbooks now for only $55 in the business office. Prices will go up soon. Also, seniors, listen up. The deadline for baby ads and quotes for the yearbook must be submitted to Ms. Kennedy on October 13th or October 20th. October 20th is the last day you can bring those in if you want them in the yearbook. Don't delay. Get those photos and quotes into the yearbook staff or room 104 as soon as possible. With October only a week away, those deadlines are coming fast. Corinne, I know you're only a sophomore, but have you started thinking about where you want to go to college? I have, Marissa, and even though it's still a little early, I'm trying to follow the schools visiting us here. Knowing the lineup is helpful, especially for juniors and seniors. It sure is. Students, most visits are during advisory in the Counseling Center, and you will need a pass to attend. Here's a lineup for upcoming college visits. We we'll kick off last week of September with UCCS tomorrow, then October visits start on Tuesday the 3rd with California Baptist University. Colorado Mesa will be here on the 4th. On October 10th, we have two schools scheduled. Fort Hayes Days University will be here during advisory, and Paul Mitchell, the school, will be here at lunch. Hastings College is scheduled to visit on October 12th, and CSU Pueblo comes in on October 17th. Rounding out October is CU Denver on October 31st. November visits start with Luther College on Thursday, November 2nd, while Adams State plans to be here on Thursday, November 16th. Remember to mark your calendars with these dates and remember to swing by the Counseling Center to pick up your pass to attend. Those are some great schools, Marissa. But if you cannot make time to see these representatives, there is also a college fair tonight at Coronado High School from 5.30 to 7.30. Over 150 college representatives will be available. You do have to register, so go on to this website and get it done. Now here's Ethan Simon with our Gladiator Sports Update. Good Monday morning, Glads. I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. What a wild weekend of sports. Here are some scores if you missed any of the action. Our Glads keep, keep marching up the winner's circle. They handed Palmer Terrors a huge loss on Friday night and to continue their streak. This Friday, the boys take on Chatfield High School on the road at 7 p.m. Our Lady Glads softball team is making a name for itself. On Friday afternoon, they easily cage the Coronado Cougars. The ladies are back at it at El Palmar tomorrow against Harrison at 4.30. The boys' tennis team played in a tournament on Friday and Saturday and had some great success. Way to go, guys. Following their win last week at home against Elizabeth, the boys' soccer team plays tomorrow afternoon against Sierra at 4.15. Will it be a stomping? You'll know if you go. In volleyball news, the ladies hope to add another W to their scorching record when they play the Elizabeth Cardinals on Thursday night on the road. Mark your calendars for the Lady Glads Dig Pink game on October 3rd. The game is against Mesa Ridge and the Lady Glads would like to remind everyone to wear pink to the game to raise awareness of and support for breast cancer research. The fastest Glads ran this weekend in the Pueblo Central Invitational. They continue to bring home their hardware for their impressive times. They're gearing up for the Rampart invite on Thursday afternoon. And finally, Glad's Boys Basketball Open Gym are on Mondays and Wednesdays in Bowers Gym from 6 to 8 p.m. If you haven't made it to the gym yet but are interested or need more information, speak with Coach Munoz in room 207. Good luck to all of our sports teams this week. That's all for your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Ethan Simon. Now back to you, Corinne, and Marissa. Thanks, Ethan. Attention juniors, if you are interested in taking the PSAT test on Wednesday, October 11th, during the periods 1 through 4, you need to sign up and pay the fee no later than October 6th. 
The cost is $16, and Ms. Abeda and the Counseling Center will sign you up and collect your fee. The test is optional, but if you're interested in applying for the National Merit Scholar Scholarship, you must take this test. See the Counseling Center website for more information. Hey, Glads, guess what? The chocolate is here. The chocolate is here. NJROTC is currently selling the world's finest chocolate for only a dollar. See any NJROTC cadet for your hunka hunka chocolatey goodness. Finally, here's your club and activities update for Monday and Tuesday. Student Union is open in the library every day from 3 to 4.15. You must have a sticker on your ID, like the one picture to stay and play or to work on homework. Science Club meets today at lunch in room 121. Coding Club also today in room 7 from 3 to 4 p.m. with Ms. Hines. And the Spirit Club also meets after school today in rooms 502 or 511. Check your calendar for these Tuesday meetings. Forensics in Ms. Owen's room at lunch. Check with her or Mr. L. Hoffer for upcoming meetings. The Environmental Club meets at lunch in room 204 and picks up recycling every other Thursday during advisory. Book Club also meets every other Tuesday at lunch in library in the magazine room. They are meeting tomorrow. Link Group meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays during advisory in rooms 123, 124, or, two, or 201. And finally, if you're interested in the Red Cross Club, they meet at lunch on Tuesdays in room 109 with Ms. Shepard. Speaking of the Red Cross Club, they are currently collecting pennies for Penny Wars. Bring your pennies to any English teacher. Pennies count as positive points, and any silver coins or dollars count as negative points. Every little bit helps the Red Cross Club help their causes. Penny Wars friends until this Wednesday. Here are a few more housekeeping notes before we go. If you bought your school pictures, please pick those up in the main office with Ms. Price. If, if you need to take, retake your photos or were absent, picture retakes are on Friday, September 29th from 10 a.m. until noon in the small gym. Students, if you lost or misplaced any personal items at school, check for them in the principal's office. They hold items for two to four weeks. Sorry, teachers. We checked and they did not have any one sanity there. Well, that's all for us today. Have a great Monday. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Mr. Trahill. Have a great week. Oh, what a beautiful morning.